My name is Taryn Young, and I have been date raped 13 times. True story. Um, it was by 13 different men. Um, and I guess I'll give you a backstory of myself. Yeah, tell us um, a little bit about yourself as far as um, your upbringing, um, you know, where you're from, you know, because this is in Dallas, Texas. But just tell us a quick little backstory about yourself. Okay, so yeah, I was born and raised in Dallas, um, mainly like Garland, Dallas. Um, I am Mexican, black, a Native American. Um, my parents are super Christian, strict household. I really wasn't allowed to do anything um, until after I was like 18. I got in like a four year relationship and then got in like a two year relationship. And that kind of brings us to where everything kind of started, because I really my whole life have been like sheltered, kept in. We didn't really go out. I didn't really drink much. I didn't like alcohol back then. Um, and then I got in my, a two year relationship and I ended that in like November of 2021. And, um, that relationship literally drove me insane. He was like gaslighting, manipulating narcissistic characteristics, um, cheating on me with women and men. I was being a stepmom. It dealing with the baby mama. My mind was literally just not there. And what made you stay in that relationship with all that going? So I had been literally knowing that person since fifth grade on and off dating, best friends with. Um, we had a lot of history. And again, he was gaslighting me. So any type of information that I would find, he would literally be like, no, it's not me. That's not the case. Da, 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 da. And I was just so, I guess, brainwashed in love, whatever, that I just would believe him. And then finally we broke up and I got the proof that I needed and I like left the situation. But my mind going into, again, November of 2021 after that um, was basically like, yeah, I was just used, manipulated, gaslighted, like all of the worst things that somebody could probably go through, like I was dealing with. And again, I was not really in the mix of the world, nightlife, anything like that, nor was I really into drinking. So I started getting into drinking, started getting into going out and was basically just doing anything to distract myself, anything to just get over the past shit that I was dealing with, not think about it. It was just too much for me. Like I wanted to take my life. He knew that he didn't care. I literally had to get out of that like situation. And if I didn't have my mom and my siblings, I wouldn't have. They are literally the reason that I did not take my life. So I was literally at at that time, the lowest part of my life. And so going into the world and being around everybody, people literally used to call me green. And I didn't really understand the aspect or like definition of that. And now looking back on it and then just hearing what they would say, I'd be like, well, yeah, like. I am gullible. I don't think people would, you know, fuck me over or do this and that. I was fucked over, taken advantage of almost anything you could think of within that time period because I was, again, just so new to the world. Um, and I was kind of just sleeping around. I didn't care. I very much loved sex. I was very much a party girl. Like, you know, that was just kind of my lifestyle. Um, and it didn't, like register that I had been taken advantage of until December 2nd, 2022. I had met up with this promoter that had, um, wanted to like hang out with me, get to know me, whatever at the club. Um, I had basically told him I wasn't interested and he was like, no, I'm a promoter, like just come out with me and promote and stuff like that. So I gave him my information. 